Getting ready for another edition of High School Sports here on News Channel Nebraska. I'm Chris Whitney, and today we're joined by another certified athletic trainer from Faith Regional Services, Brittany Heinrich. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about nutrition, maybe an overlooked aspect of how athletes prepare. Why is it so important? Well, the food that we eat is actually the fuel for our body. So if we use bad fuel, our motors aren't going to work as well. We want to have a diverse um, nutrients that go into our body so that we can perform at our best. Why should someone eat before a competition or workout? Seems like an easy question, but sometimes people don't want to do that at all. Right. We are eating about three to four hours before a workout. You need to eat something that's high in carbohydrates, has a bit of protein, but very low in fiber and fat. That way you'll be able to top off your muscle stores of fuel and be able to eat, digest that food very fast. Some examples of this would be a fruit and yogurt smoothie with a low-fat granola or a turkey and Swiss sandwich. Let's talk about if somebody just has a little bit of time to eat before a competition, say maybe 30 minutes or something like that. What's a go-to fuel in that case? If you're eating really fast, about 30 to 60 minutes, like you said, before a workout, you want to eat something that's very high in carbohydrates, so like a sports drink or a piece of fruit. You also want to try these foods out before you go into a competition, just so you know how your body's going to react to those foods. Everybody is different. Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about when that workout is over then. What are uh, some go-to foods to refuel athletes? Yeah, we want to eat something that is going to help us restore the fluid and the electrolyte loss, repair the muscle damage, and re store that um, muscle fuel that we lost. So we want to eat something that's high in carbohydrates. So we want to eat some sports drinks or low fat chocolate milk and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a piece of fruit. Or um, a meal idea would be some stir fry with a lean meat or chicken and some vegetables and brown rice. A very important part of nutrition, of course, uh, a lot of people talk about supplements. What are, what are you recommending on that subject? Yeah, there's a lot that are trying to gimmick some athletes into mm. eating or using those supplements. But the truth is, is that we get a lot of protein and vitamins in our normal diet. It's recommended that an athlete eats about 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body mass. So for a 150 pound person, that's about 90 grams of protein a day. Some good sources of that protein are eggs, meat, fish, almonds, peanut butter, and Greek yogurt. Are there any FDA regulations on those dietary supplements with all that chatter going around? Yeah, there actually are not any testing or any regulations on those dietary supplements unless they're reported to, have a, un, to be unsafe. All right. Well, I think we got uh, the great ideas on how to get fueled up for our workout or everybody else. Brittany Heinrich from Faith Regional Health Services, certified athletic trainer. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.